Hello and welcome to Gadget Joe. Now today we're going to do something a little bit different. This is going to be my first ever little vlog style video. Now what we're going to do today, rather than do a little video on a product, we're going to do a video on multiple products and a little event. Now the event we're going to now Obviously, I'm all the way from Grimsby. I'm taking a drive up to Sunderland, which is going to take about two hours and 35 minutes, according to the sat-nav. So I'm going to set off now, and this is basically Fairmotech's first road UK roadshow event. Now, what this is, is basically a new event that's been hosted by Adam, and you're going to meet him later on in the video. Um, he's obviously the UK marketing manager of uh, Fairmotech. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to get driving now, and then I will see you at the event. Bye. Well, we're here now, so I'm going to go in here and then we're going to have a look around of what's going on. It took a drive took about two and a half hours, so we'll get going on, basically.
Right, hard choose. PTG, it's going to be 500 mil lengths. This is a 16 12. 16 mil diameter, 12 mil inner. So, what we're going to do today is just create some simple 90 degree bends and show land drills you can use to create these. One side you have 135 degree, the other side you have a 90. 360 and 180. On here we have our tube cutter, we cut the PTG with. And Jerima, which then that will chamfer at the internal and the external of your pipe. So that's the kind of long guns board. I've got some warm soap and water to cut the drop for washing up liquid in there just to add some lubrication to the insert. If you don't lubricate the insert, you'll get it stuck and you'll never get it out. So, going to apply some heat. <laughs> so, what I want to do here, I want to create a bend in between my two thumbs. So, I'm going to be heating half an inch past each side of my thumb. Just keep it moving up and down. If you want to put some heat on one spot, just hold it there a bit. Keep turning. You'll know when the tubes start ready to bend, it's starting to go a bit loose. It's starting to go now. Just keep on eating it either side, spread the heat even. Simple as that. Get your 90 degree. Put it straight, push it down, hold it tight. Don't dip it in water to cool it down, it creates micro fractures. That will start to hold its shape in a minute when it goes off. Turn it off, get that out of my ear. Let it cool down a bit. Comes out, on my degree bend, same as there. It's not hard to do. Yes, it's warm. You may burn your fingers a little bit. Anybody want to have a go? And here we have two short pieces. These are our new C Pro fittings. They come in three sections. You've got your base plate. Base plate into your CPU block. That is all you need now to connect your fittings to. That's ready to go. Get our piece of tube in, slide the collar on, and your O ring. Once your O ring's on, you have a light, an alignment collar with a groove up in the top. Flat end on the bottom. Groove end up against the O-ring you put on and have the collar flush with the end of the tube in. If you want to make it even more flusher, tap it down, nice and flush with the end. There is no way now you can misalign threading this up. It's, it's only going to go in one way. So this is going to lock that down, line it up with the gasket, put it down, thread on. Over your base plate, aligns perfectly, you can't misalign it, so that means now the internal hole of the tube is lined up with the internal hole on the block, no restriction, that's now air ready to go. One watertight seal. Cutting tube. Put in your pipe cutter, line it up in the grooves at the bottom, wherever you mark, use a pen, wherever you want to cut it to. Two turns, tighten again. Two turns, again, keep on going to go all the way through. That's cut. Now on the inside of this tube, you'll have a sharp burn. 
what you want to do, you've got to remove this burr now, ready for it to connect your fittings and connect your loops. You've got your remote, your external and your internal. Two or three turns, inside, outside. That now hasn't got any sharp edges. So when you're going through the O-rings of the fittings, you're not catching the O-rings, kinking them, marking them, putting any nicks in them. If you put a nick in an O-ring, it will leak under pressure. Not as standing like this, as soon as you add one bar of pressure through a loop, it will leak. And it does shoot out like a jet. So always make sure you sand or you green the end of your tubing before you insert it. And if you want an extra bit of lubrication before you put it in the fitting, bit of distilled water, insert it. Just adds that extra bit of lubrication for you. See where he's moving from side to side, spreading the heat out even. Still keeping the heat in the area where he wants the bend to be. Keep the heat moving out, so more flexibility for the tube to work for you. Always be patient, let it cool down. Never rush this bit because all the work you put into it, even in the heat out, making sure you've got the PTG pliable, your inserts in there good, it's not collapsing. Let it cool down naturally and you'll get the finished result that you want. It's not hard, you know, it's take your time, plan it, use the right tools. Right, so first first time Wendy's done this. So what Wendy's going to do now is same thing again. Going to hold the tube, keep your hands away, get more over the heat. Just keep it moving backwards and forwards. Keep on turning it, applying even heat. You'll notice when it's all ready, you the tube, start to droop, go a bit soft and round. You want to give us a go? Keep it turning. <laughs> 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 it starting to go yet? Right, not yet. A bit more. Okay, that's fine. So good enough. Okay, so you take your hands, nice and slowly. Yeah, that's 90 degrees in my eyes. Hold that there. It's not hard, is it, guys? Come on. Come on. It's not rocket science. <laughs> so you can make that arc even tighter if you want to, instead of it just a natural bend going around, if you push both ends at the same time, you can get your arc working at the right hand to So you have the risk of then collapsing the inside wall. No, next day, man. Well, that was the first Thermal Tate UK roadshow event, and he's obviously going to be doing it in other places. But I'm going to not be there, so I'll you know, try and get some dates off uh, Adam, so I can put them in the description, see where the next one's going to be. It was all in all a fantastic event, very very good event, a lot of people there, met a lot of really good people, met some people, nice to put faces to the names, and that was it pretty much, it was really good. Lots of water cooling advice from soft tubing, hard tubing, 
pretty much everything really. We will spend to gaming, competitions, everything. Hope you like the footage and we will see you next time. Bye!